the awakening of the third eye. Hey guys, just jumping on to do a little quick video on the awakening of the third eye. Now, a lot of people may think uh, the awakening of the third eye is being able to see um, see things like spirits and ghosts and things like that. Um, although you have that experience, that's a psychic ability. It's not per se your third eye. Your third eye is uh, awakening when you're ready uh, to see the truth through the illusion, the delusion. Right? And so when you have third eye awakening, it's not that you get to see spirits or um, things like that, because you can do that without having your third eye awakened. Right? There's a lot of people who are psychics that can see and have images um, that don't have their third eye awake. Right? So that's not what it is. You know, third eye awakening is when you are say, able to see through the illusion or delusion of where we are in this and see things as they are as truth. Not that it is our truth because in our human self, our identity of our person, but the truth as it exists according to source. You know, not the limited version, but the expanded version, right? The truth, the one truth, right? We can see through the illusion, right? And the delusion of who we think we are in the expansion of our awareness, right? And so... A lot of people thinking that the having the third eye open um, is seeing spirits, but that's far from the truth. You can have that without even having your third eye open, um, which is an illusion. <laughs> um, so third eye opening experience that I had and how I got to it basically was just by following my guidance. I, meditation, eating healthy, following my guidance, um, doing yoga, being present and just working on myself, right? And then when I was ready, it opened. And then my experience of it opened and what showed me how it was open, I literally had this, um, I was woken up in the middle of the night and I was feeling this energy over me. And then there was like this big psychedelic eye uh, version of it, which is three see-through, but it, it was all colors on the outline of it. It was all psychedelic, energetic eye which was just staring back at me in that, that wake dream state, right? And which was sign signifying to me symbolism that my third eye is opening, right? And so I started going through all this healing, self-healing stuff. And you know how they say um, that Buddha had gone through this period of time where he was facing all his demons and all his stuff. Well, that's what it is. You, It's a period of time where you go through this working on yourself, self-work, self-transformation, getting rid of all the demons and the illusions and stuff like that. So it was like a big 10-year period, ten year period of that for me, working through all that stuff, right? Um, the delusions and illusions, and which in, included the kundalini at some point, um, and then going through a lot of other stuff. But that's basically, you know, if you're wanting to get to that point, you have to be ready. It won't happen unless you're ready. And so working on yourself, you know, healthy eating, healthy behaviors, um, doing detoxing, cleansing, meditation, yoga, things like that. Part of it that helped me was sitting and living on the beach because I went and sat on, on the beach every night at sunset using the sun also as a way of cleansing and the ocean as a way of cleansing. So a lot of different cleansing on different levels, your, your mental, emotional, physical, spiritual levels cleansing, right? And so your third eye opens when you're ready, right? And so you're able to see through the illusion and delusions of certain things that you're moving forward through, right? So when you have that, so that's what the third eye opening is. It's not really per se. So you can see spirits because you can do that without having your third eye open. There's so many people who live in illusion um, in the 3D world that uh, are able to see spirits because they're psychic and intuitive. Uh, but their third eye is, is not open, right? So that's a false false illusion of belief about that. Um, and so as you're moving through, you know, doing that, readying yourself for that, you know, you have to be ready for your third eye to open. Because, like, when you're seeing all these things, because when that opens up and you start seeing all these things, you, 
and which was helpful for me because I was literally, I, I have a, a master's in counseling. Um, so that helped me navigate it, right? Because it's, and when you get into stuff like that, you know, third eye awakening, seeing all these things and being able to move, maneuver through that and transform it and heal it, um, as well as the Kundalini, uh, you know, that's, you need to be ready for that, basically. You need to have some understanding behind that. And so when I was doing a lot of my studies in counseling and psychology, things like that helped me. And then having the knowledge of uh, Buddhism and things like that helped me to navigate it, right? Somebody who's not ready isn't going to have that happen, you know. Um, so because then, cause then you're not going to know what to do, right? So, so you really have to be ready um, to have the third eye awakening so you can maneuver through it. Otherwise, it's going to end up in not a good situation, right? A lot of people, and I can see where a lot of people have maybe gotten to that point, but then didn't really understand it for really what it was and kind of went and got diagnosed and mental illness, things like that. But there's, there's quite a difference between that, right? But it can seem very similar. Um, but when you go through the third eye opening awareness experience, um, you know, it can be very life-changing. Um, and so whenever you're able to see through the illusion and delusion, um, then you can understand what I'm talking about because um, it kind of shifts things for you uh, versus seeing through illusion. You're able to maneuver and manipulate what it is that you're seeing um, as far as that. Because when you see through your perception, it's a different reality than you're, when you're seeing um, beyond that reality. And so when that big psychedelic eye um, came in, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I, at first, I didn't understand it, and I, I wasn't alarmed or anything like that. It was just sitting there looking at me, and it didn't do anything. I, didn't, I tuned into my energy, and it didn't feel like anything was um, bad or anything to be concerned of. And so I just turned over and went back to sleep. And it was just an experience that I had, which you know, signified that the third eye um, was was opening and awakening you know because i had done a lot of work towards that that progression which i didn't really understand that i was doing but i was just following the guidance of my guys and where i was on the path to get to that point but anyway that was the experience of the third eye awakening you know experience for me and now that's going to happen differently for everybody you may not have that experience you may have it come to you in a different way and a lot of experiences just like the kundalini, a lot of people think, you know, because they feel a little bit of energy rising up that they've had a kundalini. Um, that's part of the kundalini. Um, it's not the full kundalini. Um, so kind of understanding what that is. And I'll do a different video on my experience of what the kundalini is. And pretty much every yogi that would, will talk to you about the kundalini will tell you it's something that you definitely need to be ready for. Um, in that experience, um, because like a full-blown kundalini is not just like a little feeling of energy arising, right? It's, it's a totally different experience. Now, some people will go through the kundalini in little increments, you know, maybe they're not ready or maybe they're not doing the meditation or maybe they're not doing this um, or readying themselves in, in the way that they should be or doing things that's going to halt it, you know, if they're using or whatever is that's happening. Um, but for those who are and have the full-blown kundalini, it's a whole different experience, right? And um, a lot of the yogis will tell you that. You definitely want to be ready for that. So um, it can have on, happen on, you know, little increments throughout lifetime, or it can happen, like, on a whole big level, you know, of awakening. Um, so definitely, I ended up with the full-blown experience, and I'll share that in a different video. But that's the uh, third eye awakening experience. Just wanted to share that with you. And maybe the misunderstanding about, you know, whether that means you get to see, um, you know, see spirits with that or not, or if it's seeing through the illusion, because some people may think they want the third eye awakening to happen, but they're not really see, they're not really ready to see beyond the illusion or the delusion, right? And so... When you're doing that, you're clearing out all this 
stuff, the perceptions and realities and agreements and things like that, that you've lived as your person up until this time and you don't see things as they truly are. Like you see a tree as a tree, but you don't see beyond the tree. You don't see what the tree really is, if that makes sense. So having your third eye opening, you want to be ready for the truth. If you're not ready for the truth, it's probably not where you want to be yet, if that makes sense. All right, um, so happy journeys. Thanks for tuning in.